Hello and welcome to this uh, wine review um, looking at Kribari Cellars American Marsala. Okay, um, put the cap back on it. Okay, um, I bought this at Albertson's grocery store on US Highway 190 eastbound in Hammond, Louisiana. It was I think four dollars ninety nine cents. Might been cheap. Might have been cheaper. But anyway, uh, I was I said, what is this? And I said more stuff. I didn't know, it's got the date guys, 264th day of 2015, 17% alcohol. Uh, but the bottle looked familiar. I said, uh, this is a bottle I remember from growing up, you know. And I looked on the back, Canandaiga, I said, that's Taylor. I mean, as a child growing up, this is the bottle, you know, the green, black cap bottle design. I, you know, Taylor was very commonly in my house. <laughs> um, my mother was a big tailor, not to mention Carlo Rossi, wine drinker. Not to mention Dixie beer. And I mean big in the sense that that was her f more favor favorite brand. She, wasn't, she didn't actually drink a lot of alcohol, but uh, when she did, those were ones I noticed she would reach for. Okay, um, I did have some of this much earlier this morning, and I'm trying to finish it up so I can use the cap to recap my... Uh, Dave's Insanity Sauce, I busted the cap accidentally, and I think it looks like it's going to fit the cork. It's a real cork. Um, it's a purple bottle. It looks black, but in the light it's clearly violet, purple. Fascinating product. Um, it's worth the 30 bucks, although I got it on a deep discount. <clears throat> $17.55 a bottle, which was strange. Didn't ask questions. Um, so, okay, what do we know about this? And here it is. It's a beautiful uh, looking. Uh, it's burnished, burnished gold. It's clear. It's got extreme, extremely prominent alcohol eggs. Uh, this is the New York version, the American uh, Marsala. That's the uh, New York Appalachian. The California Appalachian they're saying on their website is 17.5%. This is rated 17. Okay, real fast. I'm trying to go fast. Uh, their winemaker is Matt Schrader. He's got a bachelor's of science degree in microbiology from Cornell University. Their overseer, the guy who oversees all the wine production is Colby King. He started working for Taylor Wine Company in 1980. He graduated from Bodwin College in Maine. You want to get a job in a big time uh, wine or distilled spirits or beer company, uh, you need to get that bachelor's degree. I know a lot of people that say, uh, whatever, whatever, they make excuses not to get it. And I'm like, no, nah, I can help you get a free education, like literally free, no cost, no room board and um, tuition. If you have a decent enough college uh, entrance exam score, like American College Test. I think their main problem is they have a bad case of laziness. Um, I'm talking about people that will come whining to me about the uselessness of a bachelor's degree. Uh, no, it's not useless. In fact, and no, I'm not talking about I'm going to get you free tuition at UCLA. But since you're dealing with, and I'm not talking about one of these online diploma mills like you know I'm not going to name them. I'll get sued. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an actual university that has a foot, you know, a sports program, maybe not football, basketball, you know what I mean? It's accredited. Students go to campus, they have a campus, you know, they have a graduation ceremony. It's a real legitimate actual university that you can go to for free. So uh, I'm kind of tired of the BS with that. Um, all right, back to this. Uh, Biniamo Crabari, he was born in 1859 in southern Italy at that time, the very southern tip boot of Italy. At that time, it was the kingdom of the two Sicilies, a Bourbon kingdom that was absorbed, or if you want to say conquered, by Italy, the kingdom of Italy, and, or you might say the kingdom of Sardinia, which renamed itself the kingdom of Italy in 1861. Uh, you know, whatever. All right. He moved to the United States in 1902. The Taylor website, Constellation Brands website says 1904, whatever, he started a wine company. They made a lot of wines 
and they sold their store brands. And I, I don't mean, I mean their, their brands that were sold in stores. I don't mean private label, Carbari wines were sold in 1966. That's why it's under Taylor slash Constellation Brands today. <coughs> Excuse me. The Carbari family continues to produce wine in California, but they produce bulk wine, which is fascinating. And there's a whole array of wine. Any style you want, they've got it. And there's a big, deep description of it. And, uh, but you have to buy at least 12 drums of it. And they're talking about how we can ship it by train if you want it by truck, you know. So that, apparently that was more profitable for them. Uh, the residual sugar for this wine on the California Appalachian is 9.5. The total acidity is 0.55. Couldn't find anything for the New York uh, version. Okay, so, you know, it's nutty. It's it's white grapes, it's the California raisin, it's, uh, it's full bodied. I mean, you can see the alcohol eggs. This is not light, you know, it's, it's sipper, it's a sipper. Um, Dodge Dakota, D6. Um, I think I prefer drinking the table wines, which in the United States government's view is anything between 7.0 and 14.0. Uh, They're a little more drinkable, smoother. They don't have as bold a flavor or as nuanced a flavor or as um, complex a flavor as the, the dessert wines, dessert wines, which is 14.1 and above, according to the uh, Tax and Trade Bureau of the U.S. government. Okay. Oh, it's full body. Oh man, it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's not, you know, some people will say, oh, dessert wines, they're, they're cloyingly sweet. They're so sweet. No, no, not Taylor, not Christian Brothers, not Sheffield, not Fairbanks, no way. Sweet. Not cloying, but a little harsh. That's why most people use these for cooking. And I plan to do a video with this. You know, it may get posted, I don't know. Alcohol eggs, yes. Um, some states will put wine in a uh, spirits category. You know, the dessert wines, they'll actually char characterize them as spirits um, or as booze liquor. Um, well, this is uh, interesting. For four ninety nine, it's about the best value you'll ever find for alcohol. Um, I don't know how somebody could drink this and say it's junk, garbage. Now I could see you say, oh, I'll, "I'll cook with it." Yes, I understand that. Um, but you could sure, surely sip on it. It has almost, almost an almond. Um, the finish, the finish, however, is medium dry. It's not sweet, like I said, cloying or off-putting in any way. Their, their uh, quality control must be incredible. I, I wanted to go on a tour of their winery in 2016. I was going to be in Canandaigua. They said, no, it's a, it's a production-only facility. They don't do tours. I was disappointed. Um, I think it would be fascinating to see that. Um, now I'm going to read the description, what they say about it. Full bodied, sweet, and uh, nutty caramel aroma. Yeah, nutty caramel aroma. And then they're also saying with a lively tang of citrus and floral aromas. I agree with everything. I didn't want to read it until after I tasted it. Uh, you, you get flowered, flowered, flowers, dried. Um, <sighs> nectar, but not honey. Yeah, if you drink too much of this, you're going to get really faded. I, I would not drive after drinking this. Uh, it's, it's strong. I mean, it's, 
there's no other way to, you know, you can't um, beat around the bush. But, um, you know, you drink a 17% beer and it's gagging, it's gag inducing. It's, you know, I, I had the um, Santa Claus and I've had all three of those and I, I would rate them as high as anything. You know, they're fantastic, but you can barely stand to drink them. It's like mud. But these are a little more approachable, but really honestly, like I said, the table wines are better to me for drinking. So, you know, this is good. It's, you know, you drink, it's complex. It has all these flavors and I would highly recommend it without any reservation, especially $4.99 a bottle. I'm not gonna um, walk that back. But it's a little strong and um, it's a little tough to take. Not to say I won't make it through the bottle, but it's, um, you have to get a little, you know, you have to get in the proper context for it. So, I, I've seen Taylor all my life, you know, uh, my parents used to drink that stuff. It's that iconic bottle, that green bottle, so, with cheese, and if you get on the website, Constellation Brands, there's a whole bunch of pairings. They say food pairings, what to cook it with, uh, so it's um, extensive. Anyway, thank you for watching this video production. I highly recommend it, and I'm going to end this review right now. Thank you.